everyone and welcome back to Gooey's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and during the month of December I'm going to be posting four videos a week on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make this delicious slow cooker sausage and bean stew. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious slow cooker sausage and bean stew. So this recipe is really easy and it's a great meal if you're a bit tired of cooking over the festive season. I love it because it uses a slow cooker and slow cooking is a fantastic way to get a hot meal to the table without too much effort. Um, we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening. And of course, while I was making it, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious slow cooker sausage and bean stew. Just to let you know that I'm making this dish as if it serves three people. In the original recipe, um, I think it serves four, but I'm only making this for my son, myself and my husband today. So that's why I'm making it for three. Um, so what I have done is I've peeled and chopped all of my vegetables vegetables so I have um, chopped the top and the bottom from a leek and I've just simply sliced the leek into thin pieces I'd say about a half centimeter pieces and then I've also peeled and diced a carrot as well and then I have peeled and diced some potatoes as well so I haven't I've done the carrots quite small but the potatoes quite chunky I quite like chunky potatoes in a stew so that's why I've left mine chunky but if you want to make them small then you can and I've also peeled and sliced two cloves of garlic and I have some rosemary here as well that I'm going to put in so I'm just going to put all of these vegetables into my slow cooker pot like so and then to that I'm going to add about 800 mils of stock so in the original recipe I think I said to use um, a litre but obviously I'm making this for less people so I'm just going to pour over about 800 mils and then I also have some beans here as well that I've just cooked off so you can use tin beans if you want to. I'd say use about a tin if you're making this for four. Um, I'm using about 160 grams, I'd say, or 150 grams. Um, I said in the original recipe, out 200 grams of dried beans. And I just simply cook them off. I left them in the fridge overnight and then I cooked them this morning. And I'm going to put these in now as well. So I'm just gonna pop those in. And then to that I'm going to add my rosemary and I'm also going to add my sausages now as well. So I've got six sausages, obviously in the original recipe I said four, I said four, I said eight sausages, sorry. Um, so I'm going to add the sausages in now as well. Um, and I have browned the sausages off slightly before I put them in because otherwise they just look slightly anemic when they come out. So I've just browned them off. I'm just going to pop those in as well and then I'm also going to put in some salt and pepper but I'm going to grab myself a spoon before I do that. I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper to the slow cooker pot. We have a son who doesn't mind spicy but doesn't like it too hot and then I'm also going to add some dried mixed herbs as well so i'm just going to do a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs and this just adds a little bit of flavor to everything and then i'm also going to add a bit of salt as well salt and pepper to your taste you don't have to add it if you don't want to and i'm just going to go and grab my spoon so i can give this a stir i've got my spoon so i'm just going to stir all these ingredients together and then once that is done, I'm going to pop my lid on and I'm going to put this on high for two to three hours. But if you wanted it to cook for longer, then you could put it on low for uh, five to six hours. The stew has been cooking for about three hours now, so I'm going to lift the lid on it. And what I'm going to do 
is I am going to add some spinach to this as well. So I've got about a handful of spinach here and I'm just gonna let this wilt into the stew. Oh, it smells so good, I have to say. It smells delicious. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna serve myself some of this into a bowl. Oh, that's so good. So I'm gonna get some potatoes and, and some veg and some beans. I'm just gonna put those into the bowl like so. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. And then obviously I'm gonna grab myself two sausages, one, and then two, like so. And that, my friends, is our dinner done. That's how you make my delicious sausage and bean stew. And that recipe, I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be having this for my dinner this evening and it smells so good, I can't wait. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.